this. Acceleration's good. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a 2022 Honda Ridgeline HPD Black Edition. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with this Ridgeline. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below where you can check out this Ridgeline. It is available for sale right now. On a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time I purchase a car, link to my car buying guide as well. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 3.5 liter V6 goes through a nine speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs being 280 horsepower and then 262 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the Ridgeline. So first off, this one's finished in Sonic gray, which is such a cool color. It's like a bluish gray, which makes sense because Sonic the Hedgehog is blue and it's gray. But anyways, you guys can see here with the body lines on the hood, super distinctive. And then down to the daytime running lights and then the headlights, pretty dang bright. I really like this accent piece here. It does contain a parking sensor. You notice the little turn signal indicator here at the bottom. And we have a little itty bitty fog light there at the very bottom. You guys can see the Honda logo doubles as a sensor. And then notice how this trim piece is all blacked out. Again, part of the black edition. But there you go. Now, coming around the side here, we've got 245 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. Notice how the wheels are all blacked out. And as part of the HPD edition, you have these pretty aggressive all terrain tires. Here's a quick look at the front suspension and because this has the black edition package these wheels instead of being like bronze in a normal hpd package they're blacked out so yeah overall pretty cool notice here with the gigantic fender flare and then you guys can see here with the molding on the side notice the mirrors are blacked out and then here's our full side view and this truck looks really cool in this color and then notice how we says hpd here on the bed and notice that they spell it out all the way Honda Performance Development. Now here's our key fob. You guys can see we've got the lock function, the unlock, and then the remote start function as well. Now, we do have a pretty interesting tailgate setup here. We'll go over all the functions in just a moment, but payload capacity is 1,477 pounds. Towing capacity is 5,000 pounds here with the Ridgeline. And you guys can see here with little hooks on the side, and we do have this cool composite uh, bed, which is definitely a big plus because you don't have to worry about scratching paint or anything like that and it even has lights here now if we do lift up the tailgate here we also have this little handle on the side that opens it up like a barn door and that lets you access the bed trunk which you can see is very practical also has a spare tire as well and yeah just something that you know pretty much every truck should have i think is a little bed trunk but anyways just pop that back into place. Now finishing things up with the rest of the rear, you guys can see here, it says HPD. Then you got your all wheel drive badge, you got your Ridgeline logo, parking sensors, and then you got the dual outlet exhaust tips with the receiver hitch. And there you go. Now here's the door panel in the rear. You guys can see here with the padding and the stitching that goes across and look at the little cup holder right there. And then here are the seats. So you guys can see here with the perforated leather nose, there's like little red accenting there within the seat looks pretty cool and then notice here you've got a little handle you can pull down to basically pull up the seat so just do that pretty nice and then it's actually easy to get in you pretty much just slide across there's leg room there's your headroom you guys can see you've got some vents back here for the rear passengers camera focus there you go got some usbs down below and then we have a cup holder armrest situation here and let's head to the front now here's the front door panel you guys can see here again with the padding and then we have more of that red stitching which uh, doesn't want to pop on camera. I'll show you guys a little bit later. Anyways, we've got the window controls here, front two are automatic and then you guys can see the mirrors right there. And then notice down below we've got our gas cap release, memory seats and well we've got the plastic covering on this but it says black edition. You can see that over on the passenger side a little bit better. And then you guys can see here with the perforated leather, you've got your adjustments there on the side of the seat. Pedal layout down below, pretty normal with that whole setup. And then we have a bunch of controls here in this area. So you guys can see here, we've got this for the outlets. You've got that for the cargo light stability control. 
And then you guys can see here for the collision assistance. And then notice with the lane departure parking sensors. And we've got our mirror adjustment. And then you guys can see for the econ mode. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. And let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel for the ridge line. You guys can see nice padding there at the top and at the bottom and then perforated here on the side. We've got our paddle shifters here on the back for that nine speed automatic. And then notice for like the radio controls, phone controls, voice command controls, and our heated steering wheel control button there off to the side. And this does have adaptive cruise control as well as steering assistance, turn signal light stock, windshield wiper stock, and there's the steering wheel. So here is our gauge cluster. You guys can see analog gauges for the most part, but notice you got the speed there at the top, and then you do have that little screen there in the center, which shows the stuff like temperature outside. We do have some different drive modes. We have our normal, snow, mud, and then sand. And this is mainly for the all-wheel drive system to kind of adjust what it's going to do. I do think it's cool that it has the little animations with the different modes with the ridge line. Now here's the center infotainment system. First off, if we pop it in reverse, you guys can see we've got a backup camera with trajectory lines that do turn with the steering wheel, and then you can see all the different viewpoints with that camera system. Now as for the rest of the infotainment system, uh, what you guys will notice is we've got these like shortcut buttons here on either side. Uh, this isn't Honda's newest unit in terms of an infotainment system, uh, but still response time on it, frankly, is actually really solid. It's easy to use, and I'm glad that they have the little shortcut buttons. Now here is the climate control system. You guys can see dual zone for the front as well as you have the controls for the rear heated seats here for the front passengers. And then we have this little storage space area. Wireless phone charger down below. And you guys can see more little areas where you could charge devices. And then here is our transmission selector. It's a bunch of little buttons right here. And the S is kind of like your sport mode. We've got our different drive modes here. You got our auto stop start if you can turn that off. A couple cup holders right here. And then notice with the storage space there and the whole center console setup. Then you guys can see here with the glove box and then notice here with the black trim that goes all the way across the dash you've got some nice stitching there at the top anyways we do have a sunroof here at the very top sunglass holder as well it has like the mirror for the rear passengers kind of funny and then what the heck there we go we also have the controls for the center and there's the top so here's the window sticker for this Ridgeline Black Edition. And you can see that most everything is standard equipment with this. Base price is $45,570. Now, in terms of options on this, the biggest thing is the HPD Black Edition. So adding the HPD stuff to this, $2,800 for that. Total MSRP after destination, $50,060. And... It's actually kind of a big vehicle. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off in the Ridgeline HPD edition. So first off, because this is basically an SUV with a truck bed, it rides very, very smoothly, which is, I think, a huge plus about this uh, compared to a regular pickup truck. Because again, you still have the utility of a truck bed but you've got SUV smoothness which is definitely a big plus especially if you're gonna be daily driving this and on top of that it also has SUV handling right with the independent suspension it handles amazingly well and yeah turning's great it's just a comfortable vehicle overall seat comfort's also really good on top of that <laughs> navigation definitely um Looks a little, I mean, it works though. I was gonna say it looks a little bit outdated, but it, it works. Hey, look, there's another, we got a Ridgeline buddy in front of us, but guess what? I got the HPD edition. My Ridgeline's cooler than yours. Um, other stuff, we're gonna pop into the S mode, which is kind of like our sport mode. Yeah, I definitely feel a little bit more throttle response in that sport mode. That is for sure. It's just such a comfortable vehicle. And, and that's the thing about this like whole segment that really Honda created of, you know, truck SUV things is, again, you still have the truck practicality, but you just have so much more comfort from a ride quality perspective with this. Acceleration's good. Also, I just realized that uh, that mirror's face down. That would help <laughs> if it was not face down. Um, 
yeah, I really like how this drives. I really do like how this drives. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll kind of get into setting things up here with the Ridgeline uh, as a truck and then also this, these two packages. So first off, the Ridgeline in general, it does get a lot of criticism online for not being a quote unquote real truck, but it gets good fuel economy. It's comfortable. It's got a really good all wheel drive system that frankly makes it so that this truck can, uh, you know, in a lot of cases handle stuff that regular pickup trucks can't handle. And then I think it looks really good. Um, this HPD edition, looks fantastic and then with the black edition i think it really works because it really kind of just adds to the uh, sportiness of the ridgeline and so yeah overall i mean fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money for a mid-sized truck that is for sure because it's kind of like the category this sits in but with all the creature comforts you're getting honda reliability everything um and you know this is a fully loaded ridgeline this isn't like a middle of the line this is pretty fully loaded so I think it's great. Uh, obviously there's more affordable ridge lines that you can get as well. And so, yeah, just pick the ridge line that fits within your budget. But if you got the money, it's a pretty cool looking truck. And you know, the off-road practicality, definitely, I think it's cool. That's gonna sum things up for a video on this ridge line. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Stockton 12 Honda for giving me some time with the ridge line. I'm gonna include a link to their inventory in the description down below. I'll see ya.